Jake Fee with the I'm Not Sober Drink Review and thanks for tuning in. Today on the docket, I got a great, great product for you. Well, I'm not going to call it great. I got a, I got a, what it is, uh, something that takes you back, uh, a nostalgic product for me. Not for everyone, for me. This is uh, Paul Masson VS Brandy. Now, this is a $10 brandy and I remember drinking this when I was like, uh, just getting started and drinking and i like brown liquor so uh well brown liquor i thought was brown liquor but i like brandy products uh, more of the cognac side but brandy itself uh was what i was looking for cognac is technically a brandy because brandy has to be made with fruit so cognac is a brandy but brandy is not cognac so if you don't understand what's going on then that's what it is but if you young and you like to drink brown, this is normally what you go to first. Paul Masson or E and J, Irk and Jerk. But we're doing the Paul Masson review. And in this review, I will go ahead and review the Paul Masson, tell you how it tastes, tell you what I think about it. And then I will do it versus $200 cognac. So first up, we're going to crack this thing open. Oh, man. The bottle, man, it's a little different than what I remember. I kind of messed the bottle up trying to crack it open. Now I gotta, give me a minute. I have to speed this part up. Okay, I got it, uh, the paper peeled off, so I'll go ahead and put this over here. It seems like people probably haven't been buying the Paul Masson, so that was kind of hard to open, but here we go. Ooh, lovely pop. Has a false cork, it has this nice uh, engraving saying Grand Amber. Smells pretty, pretty decent. Got, got a citrusy flavor. And I'm gonna go old school like I used to. Plastic cut with ice with this one here. So, $10 brandy. Give it a rating. I mean, $10 brandy, you're getting $10, 7, 750 mLs, $10 of liquor. I'm imagining that this is aged, not, uh, as long it says vs on there with cognacs it's uh vs means very very special that means it's aged at least two years this says just very smooth on top of it uh the smell it smells delicious it smells got a got a floral smell caramel smell but you know like they can get you at that let's give it a taste I taste the alcohol forward with this, for sure. Very alcohol forward. It's not something you want to drink by itself. It definitely has to be mixed with something. Um, this right here is really, really alcohol forward. Uh, but it's 10 bucks yeah, that, that can compete with this on the price level. Um, but on the taste level, Brandy wise, it's so many better brandies out there. But again, you run into that problem of uh, $10 versus $15, $16 with ENJ. And of course, I like the ENJ better than this one. But I got to do a side by side with that one for y'all. But up next, let's go ahead and do the dog on $200 cognac versus this. Of course, I had to pull out the Hennessy XO with this one. We're going to go ahead and pour this one up first. Uh, now we're going to pour the Paul Massar. Now, I'm looking at these two. I get a, a darker amber color with the uh, XO Henny. Then I get like a, a shade, like a very lighter shade with the uh, Paul Massar. Maybe it's like a red. I, you can probably see it on camera. I'm going to try to zoom in for you so you can look at them. But let's do the nose. I'm smelling alcohol now that I smell the aroma over here. It's like oaky, uh, fruity, floral. 
All right. Let's give the Paula taste. Sweet caramel to the to the tongue. Tastes sweet off bat. Like it tastes like something is in it that makes it taste sweet. Um, it's, it's like a sugar sugar sweet taste, not like a fruity sweet taste. Got a lot of vanilla vanilla notes to it, but then the alcohol is like really overpowering inside your inside your mouth. I had swooshed it around just so I can get it, and I just felt a lot of heat all over. But that's what you expect for something that's ten bucks. Now the two hundred dollar Hennessy XO floral smell. The, I mean, the flavor profile is so different. It's like, it's like juice press. Oh man, it's like pressed juice flavor. Um, it's it, <laughs> it's not fake at all. Hold on, let me run, run it around real quick. You could taste the barrel aging in it. Um, you could taste. You can taste the floral, floral uh, feeling about it. And I guess because I compared it with this, it tastes like smoother than I normally would hit it. I feel no burn, no heat coming up. Um, without a doubt, the Hennessy XO is way more superior to this. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hey, this is JP with I'm Not Sober Drink Review. Thank y'all for tuning in. Check me out on the next video.